Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today, we have another Diamond Dynasty video. This is our pack opening once again, and this is the last game of the pack opening series. As we get our pitcher once again that we actually pulled in the pack, it is Yolanis Chaikshin, that person. He is going up against Jake Arrieta. A 94 Diamond pitcher is going up against a 75 Bronze, just to let you guys know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, all of you who are watching, uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, I hope you all enjoy uh, these videos, and I'm going to keep pumping them out all year until uh, pretty much MLB 16 comes out. Um, but moving on into the game, here's this created player. He's going to ground out to first, and we get out of the inning unscathed. No hits allowed, and we move into the bottom of the first inning. First batter up, once again, Omar Infante swinging at the first pitch like he's done the last couple of games. If you haven't checked those videos out, make sure you do as well as the pack opening video from earlier. But right here, this is Nath McCloth, I believe. And uh, that's how you say it. And he flies out to center field. Thought it was a home run right off the bat. Not going to happen, actually, as our next guy. I think that's Gruchik. He grounds out to third base. So nothing happening for either of us here in the first inning as we move on into the second. I think that's Joey Votto. He's going to ground out to the catcher, making a nice play. We walk the next batter. And, we f and the next guy after that flies out to center field. Too bad he dropped the ball. I mean, <laughs> what what happened there? Although our opponent was being pretty stupid here. Something, I'm not sure. He tries to run to third with Adam Jones. He's going to be thrown out. And the next batter, he doesn't even get to finish his at-bat as we throw Manny Machado out at first or second base. So both teams still not getting anything going here as we make a couple errors get lucky there as Wilmer Flores in the bottom of the second inning he's gonna go deep and right in front of that right fielder it's gonna drop for a double I think there was actually an error out there too by picking up the ball and that's gonna allow Flores to scamper into third with a triple so with one out here in the bottom of the second inning, there's a pass ball and Wilmer Flores is on his way from third too bad he has 30 speed and he gets thrown out at home so, I mean, a triple and a pass ball doesn't score you. Wh what's going on? I mean, we should have had a 1-0 to lead here. We don't. And we strike out uh, Brian McCain right there. As uh, we continue on, come on, Nate McCloth. He's going to make a play right there. And uh, we continue. But, really, we should have the lead here in this game as we'll get another chance here in the bottom of the third inning. Once again, my opponent doesn't put up any hits. But right here, that's uh, Juan Uribe. He's going to fly out to shortstop. Nothing happening for us there. This is Mark Trumbo now. Two outs. Now after he strike out there on an 0-2 fastball way inside. That was a terrible pitch. And our pitcher's not going to do anything. As always, I'm always surprised if a pitcher even gets a hit, you know. But um, we move on into the fourth inning. Still 0-0 by both teams. And my right fielder. I'm not sure if that's Nate McLaugh or uh, Gruchik, but he makes a nice play. Robbing, I believe that was D. Gordon of a hit. And we continue on here with two outs now on the top of the fourth inning. My opponent's got his creative player up, and he's just going to pop out to the third baseman. That's one your eBay. Can he make the catch? Yes, he does. So we continue now into the fourth inning. Bottom of the fourth inning, that is Omar Infante once again. There was a lot of pop-ups in this game uh, really early here, as you can see. A lot of pop-ups by both teams. Name it Gloth up, and he's going to rip a single down into right field. He's going to get on base for a single, like I said, and he steals second, actually. So, with a man on second base, we're going to at least advance him over to third. But with two outs, can we get something going? Can we get a hit? No, we cannot. That's our catcher, Pegley. He's just going to ground out to third base, and we cannot score a run once again. So that's the second time we've had runners in scoring position that we cannot score on. Oh, but then we give up a big home run there and a misplaced pitch. I believe that was a two-seam fastball just missed outside. And he makes me pay for it. He gets a little momentum here with Adam Jones getting another hit. And uh, now it's the top of the fifth inning, 0-2 count. That is Manny Machado again. We're just going to take the for sure out at first. We finally do get an out here as we strike. Oh, we don't strike out McCain. We're going to get him to fly out to right field. He's going to advance to third base. 
And that's all we got. So with an 0-2 count, once again, Brandon Crawford, we will get the strikeout right there. Moving into the bottom of the fifth inning, we're down 1-0. We need to get something going. And that's not going to happen with one out now in the fifth inning after Flores grounds out to first base. Or grounds out to the catcher who throws it to first base. But right here, that's off the wall. That's a huge double by my opponent or my player. I think that was our catcher once again. And he's going to get over to second base in a stupid play there. Uh, swinging at that. But um, this is a crazy play. How about this? Second baseman gets it, fakes it to third or something. I don't know. And throws it out of play. Doesn't matter though. We get a run. And how about our pitcher? Coming in clutch. Hits it deep. Oh, just kidding. That wasn't a home run. But he does get an error. And since there were two outs, we were sending the runner. He gets a double. And we lead 2-1. to one. So after a lucky break right there, we do end up taking the lead. After some crazy plays happen. Some lucky plays, actually. After an error. By two errors, actually. Uh, one on an overthrow and a drop ball. That was key. By giving us the lead... Speaking of pitchers getting a hit, how about Jake Arrieta getting a hit for his own team? And right here, we try to get a double play, but D Gordon's a little too fast, plus another error. Too bad that ends up being the game, as my opponent does lose connection with me or something here. So technically, we get the win. This was our last game with the, the team, and I hope you enjoyed it all. So make sure you subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.